So now let's see how we can update one of our books. And for this, we'll be using the find one and update method, which can be found right here in our mongoose.js docs. And this is one way to update our model. For this example, we will use our find one and update method inside of a put API call to a book colon ID route. So this will look a lot like our when we're finding one particular book. We're doing the same thing. We're still finding one book, but we're going to be updating it also. So we're going to find a book and update. And we'll pass in what we're looking for. So it's the same as the original find where we'll pass in underscore ID and we'll set it equal to rec.params.id. So again, this ID is this ID. So let's look at the find one and update method. It takes conditions, update, options, and a callback. And below we can see an example of what's being done. Our example will look something like this. The query is what we've already set up. It's the underscore ID. Then we want to set what it is that we're updating. So in this example, they're setting name to Jason Bourne. And then we'll have options and a callback. So we'll, we'll actually be using all these in our example. So our query is what we've set up is this right here. Now we're going to set up what we want to update. So just like in the example given to us, we have to pass in set. So what do we want to set? We want to set our title. And what do we want to set our title to? We're just going to say request.body.title. And in this example, I'm only going to do the title, but we could easily pass in the author and category as well. The third parameter is an optional parameter. Now you'll usually see when updating and using this parameter, upsert true being used. And this just lets Mongoose know that if the title or whatever it is that we pass in doesn't already exist, to insert it. And then finally we can use our fourth parameter which is the callback function. I'll clean this up just a little bit. I'll pass in error and new book here. And in this example, I'm just going to pass a status of 204, which will indicate that the book got updated correctly. Okay, so that should fix my syntax. I just need an extra ending curly bracket right here. So now let's test out this route. And to test this out, I'm going to take the ID of one of our books. We'll take this one right here. So currently the title is example. So I want to change that. So I'm going to go to book slash the ID of our book and I'm going to update our title to be call this example 3 and I'm going to send and we need to change this to a put I'm going to send it again well it did get updated but I didn't get the message in Postman yet. So, so instead of status, I'll just send this back. We'll change this to example four. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it showed up after a little while. 
So if I change this to example four, it still shows up in my postman ex as example three. But if we go back and if we check, let's see, now it shows up as example four when we're getting our books. So it is working. And in this last example, I'm going to show you how to delete a book. And for this one, we'll be using find one and remove, which can be found right here in our MongoosJS API. So we'll pass in our conditions, options, and a callback. So just like previously, we will create a new route and pass in the ID of our route. The second parameter is a callback. And then we can say book.find one and remove. And then just like in the previous example, we'll say underscore ID and set it to our parameters. And in this example, we don't need any options. We can just go straight to the callback and on delete we can pass in our callback if there's an error we'll respond with the error message otherwise we'll just we'll just log the book and this one will respond with a 204 save that now I'm going to grab the ID again and we'll go and instead of a put, now we'll be using a delete. So if I send this, for some reason I put look, this should be book. Okay, now we get our app listening. And it's the same thing, the this, this status method isn't working. But if we reload our books route, then this should be gone. Okay, and it did get deleted. And we can see that it was deleted from our console log also.